Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. I'm delighted to be on with the new Central Area Cruiserweight Champion, Ricky Reeves. How are you, Ricky? I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm good, mate. I'm very good. So oh, we, we'll talk about your fight uh, with uh, Perry, Perry Howe. Um, of course, it was, uh, well, it it was scored 98-92, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Would you agree with, like, the scorecard? I, I personally thought I won every round. Um, a lot of other people did as well, but it's what the judges saw, so I'm not going to complain um, mm -hmm. and more about it. If that's what they thought, it's what they thought. But... I had 98-92. Put him? I had 98-92 as did well. You? Yeah. I mean, I thought I won every round. Um, a few of my friends and people around me said there was one or two rounds where I might have switched off a little bit. Um, not that I got hit much or anything. They just said I just didn't work enough or something like that. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know, yeah. I thought I won every round. But Did, did you feel like when you were in, in the fight, do you feel like you you could have stopped him? Watching it back, I think I was close in round five, I believe. Um, I think I could have if I'd have put it on him a little bit, a little bit more. He's got a very, um, like awkward style, if that makes sense. Like on the ropes and stuff, he, he can be quite hard to it, and he does make you miss him. Like he held on quite a lot um, with the clinches and stuff. <laughs> um, and I got caught with the head a few times. So I just I didn't want to make it messy. The plan was to try and keep on the boxing and stuff. But I think if I'd have been a bit busy, I probably could have. But Yeah, because not... you did get him hurt in there, I saw. Yeah, yeah. He said that um, I hurt him a couple of times. Um, and then he said himself he wasn't expecting to be hurt so early on. So he tried to recover and survive for, I think, oh, he said at after least. After the, uh, the fifth round, did you feel like you were going to stop him? I, again, I did, yeah. I thought I, I thought it would have come in the end. Um, probably more experience for me because it was my first ten rounder. Um, I didn't really want to gas myself out or blow myself out a little bit. Um, all learning. I think I could have definitely stepped it up and got him out of there at some points. But did he surprise you with like anything? Yeah, is I knew it was tough, but he, I, I I've watched all most of the fight back, and I was catching him with some big shots, and he took him well. He didn't go down at all. He had a great chin. He's got a good chin, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've wobbled. I wobbled him a few times, but I think the ropes helped him a few times. Um, but then others, they just took him and like threw something back and held on. So credit to him. It's a so, tough fight. So due to um <clears throat> the scorecard being like. Like wide, uh, no rematch. Uh, we, we've, yeah, we've spoke about it. We've said, I think it's more about what makes sense now. Um, yeah. what's the most money and the bigger fights? You know, I'm I'm waiting on a few things to see what I get offered. Now I've got this. I know yeah. Perry still got his WBF belt. And then maybe so, it could be for both. You just never know. This is it. There could be a fight for both. I mean, he could go on and defend his against somebody. I think he's mentioned that. Um, me and him could fight again. There's or been you could fight himself. Sheldon or... Yeah, yeah. So because I saw Sheldon wanted to fight you. Yeah, he's put that little something on Instagram. So we had like a little chat about that. Um, we messaged each other about it. Nothing like spiteful or anything. We were just talking about it, saying, you know, we could do a... I'm sure we can make a fight easily, which we could. I'm sure that fight with you and Sheldon will happen again some, some Yeah, time. it's the next fight or whenever. It could be further down the line for a different fight. I don't know what his plans are, to be honest. Oh, uh, what about um Zorro? Would you still be interested in rematching him over 10? Because he's got a title fight against Josea Burton. <clears throat> he has, yeah. I said this in an interview I've had earlier today as well. Like, I think at the minute he's probably looking for bigger things in area level with his record and stuff and he's probably a little bit higher level you know he's at European level I'd say at the minute for, well clearly fighting for a title so yeah. best of luck for him um, but I mean definitely it could happen in the future you know a few more fights under my belt um, pick up some more titles hopefully and see where we are but I think 100% me and him will fight again
Yeah. Who, who do you think would win? Who's, who's going to win that fight, um, Ellis or Jose? Because for me, that's a, it's a, going to be a great fight. It is. It'll be a really good fight. Um, you know, Jose's moved up anti the cruiser now. Uh, I do see Zorro winning that, though. Uh, just from uh, Zorro's last fight, he looked really good. And then Jose Burton, like, he's a really good fighter. But he, was it Dan Aziz, I think, stopped him? He did, yeah. Seven. Yeah. And I believe Ellis is just as strong, if not stronger, than Dan Aziz. So, mm -hmm. I think it's been another stoppage. So, so it's, yeah, stoppage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what round or do you not want to say around? No, I I wouldn't have a clue. I, I'd like to say it'd stop him. I just think he, it's a bit hard and stuff. But then again, you don't. I don't know what kind of power he's bringing up into cruiserweight. It should be a good fight. But I think you know, it's, it's not going fight. the distance. Just put it that way. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be a good, I, I I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, it'd be a good one. It'd be really good to watch. So, with are you watching Sheldon's fight? Um, I think he's fighting this this week. Sheldon is. Yeah. I did. I wasn't even aware. I'll be honest, I'm not he, sure. He's on um the Jay Harris v Thomas uh Tommy Frank card. Oh okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be watching. In, I'll be watching that. I'll be tuning into that. Definitely. Mhm. Mm that. So, so do you always like keep an eye on like? The the local your like local fighters because you because <coughs> the people around the central area title you you might need to fight like if the... exactly yeah yeah there's um there's a few uh we keep tabs on everyone really um you said um if you because in the face off I did with you and Perry you said um if you wanted which you have you would vacate it like straight away well. It's hard to say, really. You know, I've done. I think I've done myself proud winning this, considering how long I've been in boxing. Um, but we'll just see what happens. We'll see what makes sense. Um, if I was to get offered, you know, like an international title fight against whoever else in my or, next fight, or the English, or an English, or whatever. I think Jamie Smith's fighting for that, isn't he? He's fighting a uh, Nick Parper, I think. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I, I could have a defend this. If I got something bigger like that, then I'd, yeah, I'd vacate it and let, I don't know, Sheldon Perry or whoever fight for it instead. And I, I don't know. Because Perry Cause... could, yeah, Perry could fight. Because if you pushed on, um, like, uh, it could, Perry could get ordered to fight it against Sheldon. That would be a good fight, I it think. Could, yeah. There was him. There's, uh, there was Jay Farrell from Liverpool who was in the tournament. He oh, could fight. yeah. There was there's um another box from Roman Paul Sonny. Fury, I think he's at your way. Who's this, sorry? Roman Fury. Yeah, Tommy Fury even. He's he's a cruiserweight from Manchester, so it could even be him. Yeah. You know. It, it, there's a there's a whole heap of fighters it could be. So Ryan's been on holiday, Ryan, my coach. Um mm -hmm. I think he's got back today or tomorrow. Um, so he's the one who gets all the offers and stuff. So we'll just see what he says. Yeah, but so it, for for you now, you what what did it win? What does the winning the central area mean to you? Like when your hand got raised, what did it mean to you? Oh, a lot. It meant a lot. It might not have looked at it in the replay because I was a bit annoyed that I didn't stop him and I didn't feel like I performed as good as I could have. But on reflection, um, I'm really happy to have won it. You know, it's a it is a prestigious title. Like the area levels, it's like a first solid title you can win, and I've managed to do it in seven fights. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, I said this is what I wanted to come away from boxing, the minimum, with like an area title. So anything now is a bonus. So if I was to retire tomorrow, I could say I've won an area title and been on Sky and done all right. So yeah, any, anything now is just a bonus. So we'll see what else we can win. Yeah, have you been? Back in training since, or have you just been enjoying your time off? Yeah, I've enjoyed my time off a little bit this week. I've had a week off. Um, not really going too crazy or anything like that. Just enjoying a bit of food and going out and stuff like that. Just a bit out of the routine. Give my body a break a little bit. My hands a little bit damaged from that fight. So I just need that checking over. Um, what, have you broken it? No, I, I don't think so. I've just hurt my thumb. Uh, I don't know quite know what I've done. Did you, I think when I you thought, were fighting, did you feel your hand go like in the? Yeah, 
eight rounds, nothing serious. It just felt, I, I don't know if I've bruised it or sprained it or something. So I've been icing that. Um, and then I'm back into light trading tomorrow. So I've had a week or so off and then ticking over and see what we get. And see, see what options you get. This is it, yeah. Like I said, Ryan will be back in the gym tomorrow, um, as will I, so I'm sure we'll have a sit-down. Because now you've and... won uh, that title, that there's going to be lots of people, w there'll be some people wanting to take, uh, try and take your title, it and is, then you yeah. might get other opportunities as well, because that area title opens up quite a few doors. Oh, exactly. Exactly. It opens up a lot of doors, you know, um, potentially me, um, and stuff. You've got... I reckon some because some of these f fights for the area belts, they some they they've got to start getting area title fights on TV. Yeah, honestly, we were saying this. Um, one of the last shows I can't remember if I was on it actually now. Um, Dom Hunt for uh Darren Tetler. I was I was on that card. It was back in September. Oh yeah, when you fought that Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the main event. Uh, Dom Hunt and Darren Tetley for the area title. It was welterweight title, I think. Uh, yeah, I've, I think uh, uh, I've seen a few of, highlights. Yeah. That was it looked like because they're both Honestly, they're yeah. both of their face at the, the end. What a war! Everybody said that that was possibly one of the fight. If that was on Sky or BT or something, that'd have been a fight of the year contender. Yeah. It's the best fight I've seen like live, um, and one of the best tear ups I've ever seen. So. They do need to start airing certain fights like that, definitely. Like yeah, like the uh, the area titles. Cause yeah, some, some of these some of these fights levels. have been just absolute wars. And it's because it's it, TV. So much people, um, people are trying to get their names out there. This area the title for some people, it's like their world title. This is what it was like for me. You know, like I've said, this is I wanted to win a belt. I trained my backside off of this like it was a world title because. You know, I might never, I hope, hopefully I will, but I might never win anything again. Um, so I, I wanted to come away and make sure that I'd won something. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, a lot of fighters will give the role and try the best for it because they want to be noticed, they, they know what it can bring. So some of the best fights you'll get are at area level. Yeah. Do you think you could have done anything differently against Parry? Yeah, yeah, there's loads of different things I could have done. Um I try not to think about it now because it's over and I got the win. But, you know, there's certain things that we've looked back on and thought, you know, I could have um, pressured him a little bit more. How many thrown... times do you watch, like, your fights back? Um, Not that much, I'll be honest. I'll take little bits from it. Uh, like the Perry one, I've not really watched it too much. The one on Sky, I've watched it. Which few... one on Sky? Which, which... All of them. <laughs> All three of them. Only because it was the event and it was on t my first one on like a big platform and all that kind of stuff. Um, did, and I did good. Did you see um Anise Targi's rematch in Riley? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Anise. I said I'm gonna try and get down to watch him. Um, hopefully. Yeah. I think I'm better in this one. Because <clears throat> um he he loves it in there, doesn't he? And he no, he yeah, he's good. Because he got a, a massive cut and then he was still like d doing that with his chest. He just loved it. That's the kind of fighter he is. You know, heart on his sleeve, likes to tear up, as I found out. <laughs> mm. He's a tough, solid man. So would you, hopefully. Would you, would you rematch him? Yeah, I'd rematch any of them. Because um, you if never know. Because he, he's, he's, he's doing well as well. He is. He's doing really good. Um, and I hope he keeps on progressing. Because with with that Vidal Riley, for I just felt like he was coming into it. It was. I'd say I, he lost the first round. I I I had it two one to Riley at the time, but Anise had a big round in that. I think it was round three. Yeah, it was either then or it was the back end of round two. He started coming into it, and then he got caught, didn't he? Yeah, which is just oh. which is just a shame. Yeah, hopefully, um, none none of that happens, and he has a manages to get the full. I think it was what was it eight rounds? It was the supposed to be for, for eight. Yeah, I think it yeah. was an eight rounder. I don't hopefully. think that will go the distance though. No, I don't. I don't see that one going to the distance at all. Because 
You, are you keeping like a close eye on just all these fights domestically now? Yeah, I mean, I've, if you look at you the just domestic... never know when your your phone could ring to fight. No, yeah, if you look at the domestic scene now, like, um, I think I'm 13th or 12th or whatever. I think 13th, but you'll get yeah, the top six or so, like, are, are all world level or on that level. So the next couple down, like me, like Ellie, Jamie, um, Jamie, Nick. Yeah, I can't think. There's quite a few, but we're all in and around like English title level. Yeah, and higher, like mid European level. So it's just about seeing who wins and what comes available. Yeah, because there's lots of options out there for you. Yeah, yeah. We've just got to see which one what, makes sense. What month could we expect to see you back out in the ring? Um, Good question. I'm not too sure. I, I'd like to say, even if it was like a last-minute job, I'd need at least like a five-week camp or something, minimum. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to say, I think probably June. Mm -hmm. I'd say June, July, but we'll see. Yeah. So how many times roughly do you want to fight because now you want to just fight continuously in yeah. these 10 rounds and then hopefully maybe push on for a 12 rounder. Um, yeah. Because so, you can't, because when you, you were doing six rounds and four, people were like, oh, I want five, six, but you can't do that really with 10. No, well, this is the thing. Um, it took a while, you know, to get that other fight with Perry up, uh, like, under wraps and whatever. And I pulled out of a fight with an injury in October, which was annoying. So I've not fought for like six months. So I'm hoping to just be as busy as I can now. Um, so hopefully maybe two more fights this year. I'd say two, maybe three, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, even, if, even if they're not all 10 rounders, like if I've got weight on a fight, I'd like to take a six rounder or something. Oh yeah, because rounder. if you're not getting any well, opportunities, you may as well just stay busy. Stay busy. Uh, I'd say minimum two to three fights this year and then we'll see what else we get. So what what's the ideal plan for this uh, for the rest of the year? Um, I'm not too sure. You know, I'd like to either defend this or go on to fight for something bigger. So it could be an international title or an English. Hopefully, the winner of Jamie and Nick. I don't know. Who do you think would win that? I, I'll be honest. I've not really seen Nick fight. I'm not seeing anything of him really. I'd have to uh. go and watch, but. Going off what I've seen of Jamie, I know he's a big, he's a big guy and he's a solid puncher. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd have to say Jamie will win it. But like I said, I've not really seen much of Nick at all. Yeah, so well, I've I've happened. watched both, and I I think it'll be a good scrap. But I would just think it, it? I I imagine towards uh, Jamie to be honest. Yeah. Uh, round six or seven knockout, but big, know, uh, yeah, stoppage. Yeah, well, like I said, he's a big puncher, and so it can definitely happen. Yeah, and uh, before you, um, I let you go. Do you want to just thank anyone again? Um, just same as always, you know. Thank you for everyone who um comes and supports, and all my sponsors. Um, hopefully more will jump on board now. We'll get the bigger fights. So, yeah, big thank you to everyone, my coaches, my team, family, and everyone. So yeah, thank you for you for these interviews all the time as well. Any time, mate. And um, well done on uh, the win the other day, mate. Bye, mate. Bye, Ricky.